my name once again is uh Muiwa Adedaya for those who have been okay watching okay my videos i am a lecturer i am also an educational neuroscientist okay today i have a very very uh, important topic to discuss with us okay as usual the topic is educational and neuroscience and neuroplasticity i repeat educational neuroscience and neuroplasticity and as a kind of as a tradition in this uh, station or on this station and I always ask questions and I go about okay, giving answers to each of the questions. So for the, on this, um, for the sake of this video, the first question okay, becomes, okay, what is neuroplasticity? If you look at the word neuroplasticity, it's a combination of two kind of phenomena. Neuro means neurons, plasticity means malleability, okay, the ability of, a th of something to, uh, to, to change. So neuroplasticity, okay, simply means okay the changes that occur in a population of neurons, or by extension, it could be a kind of changes that occur in circuits, okay, that are responsible or that are dedicated for a particular, okay, action or a behavior. And we have, for the sake of this video, since it is an an um, educational neuroscience video, okay, we have concept neurons concept neurons okay are neurons that are dedicated to education okay every information every data every knowledge okay that a lecturer or a teacher reveals okay to our students in the learning environment are stored by the concept neurons then in the educational sector too Okay, because we have concept neurons, we definitely, uh, this, this concept neurons, okay, have a kind of uh, an estate. They have an estate in the brain. And this estate could be referred to as educational neuro circuit. Educational neuro circuit is uh, that circuit, that, that explicit, explicit cognitive map that is responsible for what? Uh, for education or for learning. So everything that a student learns in the learning environment in the education system or whenever a child enters okay a school it is the concept neurons and uh, the academic okay neuro circuits that become active okay that help the student to do what to store every vital information he or she is okay exposed to then the next question okay in this video becomes what are the types of of, uh, neuroplasticity we have basically so many but for the sake of this video I'm going to really narrow them just to two okay the first one is called positive okay neuroplasticity and the second one is called negative neuroplasticity thank you so much for your time I shall see you in the next video